Apple throwing some heat. Runs the count to three and one. Cruz this year, six for 16, 375 with a homer and three runs batted in in four regular season games against Central Connecticut. This is hammered into left. It's gonna fall in front of Stevens and score the run. The Bryant Bulldogs take a one nothing lead. Looking to drive in Matthews here and plate the tying run here in the bottom of the second. Ryder. This is hit to third. It's out of the glove of Gustin. He recovers, fires, and it goes wide. The base runners will advance. The ball went out of play. And the run will score. They're going to give Dwayne second base, and they're going to bring Matthews all the way around. This game is tied off the throwing error. Bones has just about done it all. He's doubled, he's tripled, he's brought in a run, he has a couple of hits, he's walked. No homers in this tournament. This is a swing and a drive. Deep left field and Bowens changes that. It's out of here, home run. T.T. Bowens has put Central Connecticut State in front, three to one. Bowens unloads a rocket chip far over the left field fence. And there was no doubt about it. The count now at three and one. Runners with short leads. Apple fires, back up the middle, could be two. Shortstop, over to first, six, six, three. Bertacci converts the double play, and the Blue Devils get out of it. Three balls and a strike. If Ward can get on here, it would bring the go-ahead run to the plate, and the potential championship winning run to the plate, and Nick Angelini. The 3-1 pitch home, it swung on and hit to second. DeBras to Bertacci, back to Bowens, double play. The Blue Devils defense coming up with another marvelous stop. And this at bat could very well decide either way the 2019 NEC Baseball Championship. Right? is going to be going off of first with two outs. Here's the payoff, the 3-2, three, strike three, and the inning is over. Jared Gallagher gets out of it, and Central Connecticut State will be three defensive outs away from forcing a game seven. They're going to get some last looks at the plate in the home half of the eighth when we return after this here on NEC Front Row. So now runners on the corners after the sacrifice, two outs for Nick Angelini. Angelini chops it to third, fielded by Dwayne, across the diamond, ball game, and the tournament is going the distance. For the ninth time in history, we have an NEC Championship Game 7 as the Blue Devils survive for the second time today. They defeat the Bryant Bulldogs 3-1. to one. The Blue Devils have not stopped believing here today. They fight off elimination twice and they force a game seven. Charlie Hickey and our player of the game are standing by downstairs with Paul Dottino to talk about it. All right, thank you so much, Craig, with uh, winning head coach Charlie Hickey and, of course, our player of the game. I call him TNT Bowens, but you guys know him as TT. Two run blast over the left field fence. That turned out to be the difference in the ball game, breaking a 1 1 tie early in the ball game. But I got to tell you something, it was a rocket chip. Well, I mean, I, I just tried to put a good at bat together. I mean, we, we grinded and we battled these last few days. Like, we went down yesterday against them. And, Coming back, it's, it's really hard to, to get the momentum and get the energy. And we, we found a way, we battled, we, we got through it, and we faced the adversity. And now it's just us and them tomorrow. When I talked to you this week, and we mentioned the two ACLs, and you miss a year and a half, but it was in 2017 in this tournament, in this building, that you won the tournament MVP. And you're lighting it up here again this year. What is it about this stadium? It's just a good feeling. I feel like home when I'm here, and I love it. I mean. Coming back from these injuries has been honestly the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. And I mean, being surrounded by like my brothers and my teammates, it's like, it's not a real feeling. It's a, it's a really good feeling. 
the confidence now beating a team that won 40 games this season and you're going to a decisive game seven. I have to feel right now you guys have the momentum. I mean, you could say that, but I mean, tomorrow when we step out on the field, nothing in the past matters. It's just us versus them. Whatever happened during the regular season, during the playoffs, it doesn't matter. It's just us versus them and winner take all. That's what we wanted. Congratulations Thank and you. good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. All right, T.T. Bowens with the two-run blast that made the difference. And, Charlie, when, when that ball sails over the fence, I don't know if you knew that was going to be the last runs of the ball game, but it turned out to be. No, but it, it definitely injected a lot of energy and confidence. You know, you, you mentioned those home runs two years ago against Sacred Heart. They did the same thing, you know, and, and all of a sudden that started to make us believers, and then we just went out and pitched and pitched and pitched, and and then we played defense when we needed to. I mean, that's obviously a, a terrific offensive team. They put a tremendous amount of pressure on you. Um, Mike Apple and Jared Gallagher stood to the test today. Well, you know, that's the thing. I mean, we're all impressed with the home run, but your pitching has really been terrific this week. That's why you're playing tomorrow. No, no. I, I, you know, at one stage I was counting how many runs we had given up in the course of three games, and you take that any time. Um, uh, the field was a little bit different today in terms of being bigger. The other day when we walked in here with the wind blowing out, it you know wasn't really conducive. But uh, the kids are feeding off each other. The energy is, is obviously terrific. And, and we get to play baseball one more day. All right. It's a deciding game seven tomorrow. You've been at this game a long time. What are deciding championship games like? Butterflies still after all these years? Well, of course. You know, you're going to be sitting there tonight trying to figure out combinations and, and people you go to. Um, you know, we're going to talk with the whole pitching staff and see what each of them have left. But, you know, we'll be here at noon tomorrow ready to play hard. I'm sure you will. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go back upstairs to Craig.